Hello everyone, this is Kyle from the Exposition. Today I'll be explaining to you a simple uh, what a CSS sprite is, how they work, and why you need to use them. Okay. A CSS sprite is essentially a collection of images in one file that is shown with CSS and HTML. Meaning, if I take 20 images that my blog uses statically, little buttons that I use on my sliders, the background image, random stuff like that, and I put it in a CSS sprite, it's going to come out like it's going to come out with a collection of images and I just took a bunch of social media icons that I had downloaded and threw them into a sprite maker and this is what happens it's going these are the services this is the CSS of it this is your style tag so this would go between your styles and this is what this is what you have really actually now what this basically says is all these are the services that you can use you can display inline background URL and the PNG dot PNG this is gonna be your file name so on a website when you implement something like this it's going to be blah 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 dot something something dot com slash upload slash blah 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 and that's going to be containing all of your images that you are using. No repeat. Uh, overflow is going to be hidden. Text ID, text indent. There is no indent. And I'll line it to the left. Now, what this area basically says is, whenever you call, if I request app.net in my division tag, such as this app.net. It's going to be background position 00 with this 32 by 32, meaning that the position of it in the sprite is 0 pixels by 0 pixels. It's the first item. This is your, this, this is how the width of it. This is where it is. So this right here is going to be 32 pixels. It's going to be 32 pixels next to it. So ask.fm will be 32 pixels away from app.net because it was the first item requested and it's got a width of 32 pixels so this one's 32 pixels away and it's the same height with 32 height 32 this one will be 64 96 and then the second one is your request from your position underneath so this is going to be your y your at the, basically this is your x axis right here this is your y axis your y-axis is the, ignore the negatives it doesn't really matter for how you read it it's just going to be 32 pixels down it's going to be beneath 32 pixels down and 32 pixels to the right and so on and so forth and to call a CSS sprite is actually fairly simple you just uh, go into your division class and then you specify dot this so whatever this list is right here in your markup it's going to be the same thing with minus the minus the period. You can go online and literally type in uh, free C CSS sprite makers or generators. It literally just takes a bunch of images and will spit the code out to you. Uh, if you want to implement it into like a blogger site, it's fairly simple. Take your image and save it. Compress the image first, and then upload it to the blogger, and then take your URL and put it here and then all you need to do is call these divisions you don't even need to do this ending division tag you should you can just put this here but it's more proper to do it this way it gets kind of it kind of gets messy though that way and then after you're done it should show these images relating to it and you will have a uh, CSS sprite and the reason you should be using CSS sprites is because it reduces the number of calls so as opposed to calling 30 plus images it's going to call one and just use to HTML to figure out where it is so and in many cases CSS sprites are actually smaller than all the files that were put together to make it I don't know it just turns out that way even when I compress it several times it still looks that way so CSS sprites are pretty beneficial to your website especially with blogger and you don't have a lot of ways that you can actually actually like improve it you're very limited with blogger so thank you very much for watching please stay tuned for the video if you have any questions relating to css sprites where you should be using them and 
if you need an article over it, there will be one in the comment in the description below. Thank you very much for watching and goodbye.